Well, howdy, y'all. It's Bo here. <laughs> it's not really, but I am going to put a link to that man's description or put a link to his channel in the description. He makes so much sense and I can even follow him. Anyway, he's a really cool guy. Um, I'm drinking a chocolate, well, it's a mocha iced coffee. You remember I used to uh, drink those all the time, and then I got tired of them. But anyway, this one has my protein drink in it, and a little scoop of ice cream. And some ice, of course. Now, all these little lines around my lips, usually you associate those with women who have smoked a lot. I have a lot of them, and I never smoked, except for those two or three butts in the fourth grade. And, um, But I am going to tell you, I have done a lot of kissing in my day. And I've drunk a lot of milkshakes. <laughs> so that must be it. Mm. Just got back from, I dripped a drop, dripped, dripped a drop. What time is it? Oh, it's almost siesta time. I dripped a drop. On the couch. I just got back from Walmart and I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see. Three. Where does it say how much they are? They were three dollars and something. I got them from uh, Walmart. I got two red ones. This Heather, whoops, upside down. Heather gray one. A navy blue one. And this kind of weird color blue. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Y'all, I got one, two, three, four, five for $18. Now, winter, I suggest when you go over to Walmart, you pick you up some of these because you know we wear them all the time. Y'all, lately, um, I let my undies uh, thing go for quite a while. Um, but lately, let's see, six, twelve, in the past month, I have purchased 12 pair of my favorite uh, Vanity Fair Illumination Hipsters undies. Now, I still had a bunch that, you know, are in good condition. Um, and I still have quite a few of these. But when I saw these today... I just had to get them. It's like, if they quit making these things right here, I would say a staple of my wardrobe. I'm pretty caught up on PJs. Um, and what else? Well, that's it on the, you know, the clothes thing. But anyway, winter, I thought you would want to know. Now, these are disappointing in that, let me tell you what their fabric content is. The ones I had before with a little ruching right in here, um, they were not, they were like 95% uh, cotton and 5% spandex. They were perfect. The more cotton, the better. And y'all know I gave a bunch of them away. I still have a few, but a few of them have paint and stuff on them that doesn't come out. But anyway, these are 55% cotton, 
percent, 37% modal, whatever that is. I need to look that up. It's, it's some kind of, it's almost like um, rayon. And then 8% spandex. Now, I would rather that they were 100% cotton. And if they shrank, oh well, I'd be wearing them anyway. They'd be like one of those little bitty tops like we used to wear. So anyway, y'all, that's enough. What this video is about is van life. Now, I think I told y'all in the little video that I just am getting ready to put out. Um, Jerry has started on my floor and it's level. I mean, level. I couldn't level anything if you had a gun to my head. And I'm going to tell y'all, I don't know. This is the thing. If I don't do my videos and do them and put them out and put a good title on them, I don't know what I have told y'all. Which is not surprising. It wouldn't be Deborah Joy's disaster channel if it were organized. But anyway, um, so he has got a really good start on my floor. Now, he has to, because I cut it wrong, I had it cut wrong. Yeah, imagine that. I got the measuring wrong. Um, he's got to recut this panel that is going to be the flap door over my trunk space. My trunk space. So he's got to do that. And I think I'm going to have him cut it in half because it'll be a lot easier. Uh, now, that flooring is by no means heavy. It is not that heavy three-quarter inch uh, plywood. But it's good, though. Anyway, I thought that would make it easier for me to open the trunk part. And I'm hoping that he can fix it for me so that I am not going to go outside to access anything in my van. I don't like that. If you live in your van, I, I get it that there are people that have these vans and they have in the back of them, they have these big drawers and these big pull-out kitchens and, you know, all this kind of stuff. I don't want that. I don't need that. I need fast food. That's what I need. But, um, so I'm really getting excited, y'all. I'm really getting excited. I'm hoping he's going to come over and work on it some more today, but I just never know because sometimes his mom will call him. She, he has a computer for her that she uses strictly for email. She screws that computer up almost every day. Sometimes... I think she does it on purpose because she knows he'll come over there and fix it for her. Um, but I can't say that for sure. But he did say last night uh, he thinks that she makes up stuff so that he'll come over there. And she finally talked him into eating dinner with her the other night. And oh my gosh, the food was amazing. I don't know. Maybe he'll start eating dinner over there every night. But, um, so I'm hoping that uh, he's going to come over. And I, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but Jerry ordered me new window coverings. Well, they came. And they were gold on one side. And that's the reflecting side. It's not silver. It's a gold color. And um, black on the other side. However, because Heat Shield makes uh, shields from the heat, you know, shielding your car from the heat, 
and they're not really window coverings. The black was very visible from the outside of the van and they were not cut to fit the windows really well so there's no light gap going on. So I told him, I said, I, I want you to send those back and get your money back. Well, of course, you know, he didn't believe me that they didn't fit that well. He just thinks I don't have a brain, which is one cell. Is that still having a brain? I think so. Anyway, he never, you know, takes my word for anything, blah, blah, blah. So he took them out there and he put them up himself. They don't fit right. I told him that. Anyway, so he sent those back. Um, so that puts me back to where I was. I've got my window coverings that are silver on one side. Hold on just a second. Ow! Ow! Oh, Lily! Oh, Lily Billy! Oh, can y'all see her sitting up there? <laughs> Let me nudge you. Well, get that, will ya? Okay. So, there's silver on this side and white on this side. Now, one of the things that the company did, which they thought was an improvement, and it may be okay, but they made the little section cups. Can y'all see those? In mine, they're built in. I guess I could... I never tried to take them off. I guess I could. But anyway, with the other um, uh, window coverings, they have them fixed so that you can have those little suction cups in, or I should say, in or out. Well, the problem with that is, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have, I, I never use my suction cups on these because they fit, I just jam them in there and they fit really good. Although I must say, I never noticed they had a little bit of a light problem, but that'll be fixed with my uh, next disaster that I'm gonna work on. You know, there's things you do or that you need to do in a certain order when you're doing your van. Now with tank, he was already done until my sweet son, Aaron, got a hold of him. But he, you know, he made him better, actually. But, um, so, I'm going to have to put coverings on this white part and make it black. I have read and read and read and even tried gluing some fabric on one, not one of my good ones, but on the one that I had that came from Walmart. Didn't work. It, it was a disaster. And I did it like they said to do it. You spray the window covering and you spray the fabric and then you wait a couple seconds until they get tacky and then you smack them down. And I did all that. The, and I used good adhesive. Yep. I wanted it to be a success. It was not. So, uh, painting, that doesn't work. Uh, uh, they've got this stuff called something dip, vinyl dip, oh, plasti dip. And that's supposed to be like, you know, a covering of plastic. Well, plastic is not gonna stick to plastic here. That That's not gonna work either. So, what I'm going to have to do is cut out a piece. I sure wish Winter was here because <laughs> we'd be laughing so hard trying to get these window covers covered. Um, anyway, uh, it'll be loads of fun. Y'all know how what a good seamstress I am. But there's an order that you need to do this stuff in. And like with my van, I, I couldn't do anything until I get the floor in. I have some storage ideas um, and all of that. 
But then after you do your floor, you need to do your window coverings. Now, y'all know I did get my trifold bed. Blah, 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 blah. I'm probably repeating myself. But anyway, and um, I did take a nap on it once, and I've sat on it, and it feels pretty comfortable. So we'll see. I can always add a little more foam if I need to. Heck, I could tear up my bed in my bedroom. That's really comfortable. I know that already. But anyway, um, so uh, it's going to be, uh, I, I need a lot of prayer, y'all, because I'm hoping to start these window coverings here really soon. And I'm going to sew them on. I may have to do it by hand. I hope I can find my thimble. Um, because I don't know. Uh, if a if a sewing machine will um, do that, Jerry says it will, but you know he's not always right. So anyway, I will try to sew it on with my sewing machine if I can figure out how to do it without ruining it. But um, so that's going to be what I'm going to be working on. Um. Of course, I've been doing more yard work, and uh, that's it, y'all. That's it. Doing stuff out in my yard. I went and got groceries this morning. Most of it was cat food and paper towels and toilet paper. Although, I just opened my... Oh, dang it. I hate it when I forget about my drink. This reminds me of Glenda Sully. She always has something to drink and she sips on it. <laughs> She's a sipper and I'm a gulper. But um, anyway, um, I'm getting excited, y'all, to, to get... Um, I'm going to read you my list of stuff that I have made up. And that's in order to, there are some things that you need uh, right away and some things you can wait until later and we'll talk about that. And um, I'm going to start out with the very basics. To take a run up to Washington to see my son is um, potty and a, you know, caught, something to sleep on, take a nap on, um, and that's really all I need. I don't, well, and, you know, my tablet and my phone. I can watch, I'm getting so used to watching uh, stuff on my phone. That's all I'm going to say in this video. How long is that? 18 minutes. Um, it's, this is the weirdest thing, y'all. We always watch TV when Jerry comes over. And this is a huge television, y'all. Let me see if I can turn you around. And Oh, that's not the button that does that. Oh, there we go. Okay. See that TV, how big that is? Yeah. It's huge. It's huge. And so, um, okay, right there. <laughs> um, I, I can't see it and so I took my glasses down and what do you know clear as a bell so I don't know what that's about but anyway um, that's it y'all I just have been Mrs. Slug. I, I do, I have been doing stuff around the yard, and of course, I'll do something, and then I'll change my mind, and you know, Jerry does the initial hard part, like if I want anything heavy moved, but then if I change my mind, or I should say when I change my mind, I don't like to ask him to redo it, so I do it myself. And that makes for a day or two of laying horizontal here on my couch. I love my couch, y'all. I never did show it to you. Look at it. 
It's a wannabe leather. It's not leather. It's a pleather, I guess you call it. And it, look at the color of it. It's not navy blue, but it's a really dark blue. I love it. In fact, I move my furniture around and my went and I've got the back of the couch now facing uh, Leo and Maria's. And I move my recliner over to a position where I really won't sit in it unless I just want to take a nap over there. But this couch is very comfortable. I really like it. Now, when it gets hot, you're going to have to have some kind of a sheet or something over it because laying down on that sticky is not good. But I do love it. And uh, that's it, y'all. Do something fun today. Make yourself happy. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.